Phoenix people, it's Paul here at Green Star Homestead. Gonna show you how I uh, do my single stick, uh, single stem, I'm sorry, tomatoes here real quick. The tomatoes are growing in here with the dill and the, the uh, beets. I think uh, you will remember seeing me plant those. That was on May 15th. This is uh, June 11th, and uh, you can see how where they're growing. Um, I'm pinching out the, uh, um, the, the uh, suckers that come up in the leaf, uh, the stem nodes there, uh, you can see where I've pinched those off and just letting the main stem of the tomato grow. And I've got this uh, trellis work here that I've built out of rebar where I have the, the rebar stuck down in the ground and I have a crossbar at the bottom. And then at the top, I run rebar through uh, that, the, the V and then I type my, uh, or I tie my, uh, Twine. That's my baling twine on there, and I bring it all the way down, and I've got some uh, fencing wire that runs all the way across through the center of this uh, trellis work, and then I tie that uh, baling twine onto that, that fencing wire, and that holds that in place, and then I just twist the, the uh, tomato plant around that uh, twine, and that, that's working really well. This is the first year that I've done this. Um, there is still some controversy. But I think this is going to work well. I'm getting, I'm already getting some tomatoes on here, and I can plant my tomato bushes much closer together, so I'm taking up a lot less garden space to grow my tomatoes. And I absolutely hate trellising tomatoes when, when they start to sprawl and, and, and bush out because it just, it's a big hassle, a big pain in the ass, and it's just time spent in the garden that I think can be spent better doing other things either in the garden or mowing or, or taking care of other business. So um, <clears throat> this, I think, is going to work really well as, as a time saver. And we're still going to get the same amount of tomatoes because I'm growing more tomato plants in, in the same amount of space that maybe I would have you know, grown three plants. Here I have eight. So um, I do have a, a sucker here. This is a good example of one I missed. And so I'm just going to take that sucker and break it off right there in that, uh, you know, where that, that bee is there on the tomato stem. And uh, so I pulled that off, and uh, that was a good example of one that I had missed, so you got to see how I do that. But we've already got the clusters of tomatoes that are forming, and uh, I, I'm, at this point, th this is a winner for me. I, I'm, I'm going to continue to grow my tomatoes this way in the future unless something goes very wrong here this year. But as of now, I'm extremely pleased with this uh, single stem method. And I've got, over there, I've got my Amish paste tomato. These are cherry tomatoes. And then yonder, I've got my uh, slicing tomatoes and those are called trophy. So those are the three uh, varieties of tomatoes we're growing here. I'm growing all of them in, this, in the same manner. So uh, as the year, ago, year goes by, uh, later in the season, when these tomatoes reach the top of this trellis work, uh, and we've got tomatoes that are coming on like crazy. We'll uh, come back out and do another video on uh, final success and, and my final determination on how I feel about growing the tomatoes in this method. So this is Paul Greenshire. Thanks for watching. If this helps you out, give me a click on the like button and subscribe for me. I appreciate it. You have a great day. We'll see you next time at Greenshire.